Hi, this is Sam from Keto Mostly. Today is another product review, and I've been waiting for this product review. I knew it was only a matter of time. The review is for Birch Benders. They are now making keto waffles. Now, Birch Benders was famous for doing paleo pancake mixes where you just add water, or keto pancake mixes, which I've tried. I, I, I never really wanted to do a review on them, but I, I have liked them. Now they have a keto waffle, and it just so happens they have a chocolate chip keto waffle, and it just so happens that I have some chocolate chip chaffles that I made, and I am going to compare them. Now, I'll be honest, if they are better, I'll tell you they're better, in my opinion. If they're not better, I'll tell you they're not better, and I'll tell you why. And the other thing I plan on doing is I do this with all product reviews is I'm going to check my blood before and after my glucose because that often tells me how truthful the ingredients are. Now, people are different. People react differently. Their glucose reacts differently to different substances. I understand that. But by and large, I have found that if the ingredients are what they say they are, that I respond and like to what the ingredients are. And sometimes there might be something in there that spikes my blood sugar that makes me believe that maybe there was something in the ingredients that got left out. I've not really had that problem with birch benders because I usually check my blood before breakfast and after breakfast anyway. Um, the good part about that is the glucose, the lower glucose, usually is comparative to a higher ketone reading. Not all the time, but use, there, is a, uh, there is a relationship between lower, lower glucose and higher ketones. So without further ado, I'm going to check my blood and then we're going to start the, the review. Here they are. This is the Birch Benders Just Plain Keto Toaster Waffle. Six gram net carbs for two waffles, which isn't bad. Two waffles is the serving. And let's see what we got here. Ingredients are eggs, high oleic sunflower oil, organic coconut flour, cassava starch, tiger nut flour. You know, I'm, I, I dare say I'm in like with these ingredients. These uh, these seem to be solid. Let's see what uh, let's see what the chocolate chip ones are. It would appear that the ingredients are much the same, with the exception of some chocolate, cocoa, maybe a little more stevia. Again. I think I'm in like with these ingredients. They seem solid. So we will toast them up and somewhere between then and eating them I'll check my blood and I'll check my blood again after an hour, hour and a half after I eat them. All right. Okay. I don't have a toaster oven, but I do have a toaster. And it says to put them on the lowest setting, and that was for me as number one. And then uh, we're gonna toast them up. I have to admit, they do smell pretty good. Yep, nice smell to them. Oh, perfect. All right, first things first. Time to check the blood. Okay, so it's a little high, but this is my base rating, and that's 92. So that's where we're starting out from. 
oven or toaster rather and this is the chocolate chip and I don't know if you can hear that it's got a little crunch to it when you open it up so that's what the inside looks like and there's nothing on these because I just want to test the waffle and I didn't want to have any other variants or variables rather uh, to when I test my blood so that's the chocolate chip and uh, hmm that's pretty good a little sweetness to it maybe a little more than a little sweetness you know it's weird is the coconut flour, I think I can taste that. It's a little different though than, uh, and maybe that's that tiger nut flour. It's a little different than the almond flour, which is what I use when I make chaffles. Hmm. It's not bad. And this is the regular one. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Hmm. It's pretty nice. A little less sweetness, more like a plain waffle. All right. Well, let me get this finished up so I can check my blood in an hour or so. All right. All right, it has been an hour and a half since I had those, and we're going to check the blood. Now, originally it was 92, I believe, and which is usually high for me in the morning. That's not something I, but I, maybe I didn't sleep as good as I would like to. So let's see what we got. Ooh, 95. So I would have to say the ingredients for me did not spur any giant glucose spikes. So that's a good thing to know. So that would lead me to believe that quite possibly the ingredients are legitimate and um, my body seems to be okay with them. And now for the birch benders versus chaffle head to head. So here again is the birch benders chocolate chip waffle, keto waffle that is. Still has that nice crunch to it. Um, still tastes pretty good. And this is my chaffle, chocolate chip chaffle. Now, when I pull it apart, it doesn't have that crunch. It sounds, it sounds a little spongy, but the smell, the smell is better. And let me take a taste. Hmm. Hmm. I would say they are comparable. The only difference is, well, the mouth texture is a little different on my chaffle, and I'm actually have a preference for the mouth feel for my chaffle, and the fact that I have vanilla in it, and that smell kind of makes it taste a little sweeter. And there is a little bit of swerve in there. So I'm still going to go with my recipe, my chaffle. But I would say that if I didn't have the time, didn't have the resources to make 
these chaffles, I would go to this, the birch benders in a heartbeat. So I would say all in all, a stellar effort, pretty tasty, definitely something that I would keep in the toolbox. All right, well, that's about it for the food review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some information that's useful and be good to each other. Thank you.